Hi everyone, Deathclaw Girl here, and welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking, and by grabbing some of my free ebooks. Links in description. In today's video, we're going to be doing a tour of a map location, Vault 51. There's actually lots and lots to do here. Um, so I'm going to break it up into three separate segments. One, I'm going to be taking you to two nice um, camp locations in the area. I'm also going to be talking about uh, how to get a shelter if you haven't done so yet. That location is right over there. And then we'll be going into the vault and checking a look around that. Um, so first of all, let me go ahead and show you how to get to Vault 51. So here is our map reference, Vault 76. You're going to go straight north till you hit these mountains. Um, there's the crosshair if you have it on the map. If not, it's in this green area of mountainous forest. And here is Vault 51, or straight above Arlen Holt Homestead. Okay. So I'm going to take you to the first interesting camp location. Um, kind of run around in this area. So I just left the vault right there. <laughs> Down here is a volleyball net with some trucks. They were playing a game, as you can see here. Um, let me see if you can even uh, place a camp down here. Yep, if you want to, you can incorporate this as your camp, if that's what you want to do. But this was not the camp I wanted to show you. I'm going to take you down this road about the this truck right here and then I'm going to let me show you again on the map where we're heading I believe this is the cave one of the cave locations that you can set up a camp it's a small little cave again here's 51 and you can see it's right about here in this green area so I'm going to run to it now let me take the high road here And I will also try to link these areas in the description. So if you don't really particularly care about camp locations, maybe you want to just see the shelter, how to get your shelter going, I'll have timestamps in the description for you. All right, here is the first camp location. Now this is everything that comes here. I did not set up anything. Um, I placed my camp machine up here. You might move it a little maybe more back if you're having problems getting stuff in the back of the cave. This is where I started. So you might just start back here so you have more room inside the cave to build stuff and you're not hitting the boundary of your camp. <clears throat> so it comes with a cooking station. Um, you can't really get into this tent. And these things here will continuously respawn. So you'll ha always have these tents, this ammo box. I'm not sure what the recycle rate on is. Once you take everything out, you'll have some glass bottles. And this is one of the cave areas. Pretty cool, I think. All right, I'm going to reset and go back to uh, the vault and take you to the next camp location. This one I call the Destroyed Farm. It does have some crops, a few uh, structures, um, but you will be dealing with enemies constantly. Because um, uh, right now, or at least the last two times I went there, Scorch and Liberators were fighting each other. So the Scorch actually just live at this place all the time. Again, there's that one truck on the road. I'm kind of following this path over here. <clears throat> and again, this is a, a possible camp location. Just because it looks interesting is why I selected it. You'll have some starter crops. 
but again these enemies will constantly respawn okay we've got different ones now you got regular robots instead of the liberators but also the scorch it looks like the scorch might always be here but this location already has razor grain mute fruit corn Let's see if there's anything else Lots of corn. It's got this destroyed building here. Oh, lots of fertilizer that should reset every once in a while after you have uh, collected it. What's this? Copper. Now these, these won't take any of the machines for um, resources. You'll just have to harvest them by hand or if you have an excavator power armor you probably get quite a bit more then the inside there's this desk a safe that has to be picked but I would think for the length of time toolbox for the length of time that you're in the game you should probably only have to pick it once even if the items reset inside I'm not a hundred percent on that one. Oh, tricycle a lot of baby stuff a mute fruit in the floor and this demolished house let me see if I can get on top so it's interesting alright now let's oh there's some um, gas oh what's this it's another crop wild gourd So you can always pick them and then replant the seeds, or actually the, the fruit, and get more of the gourd if that's what you want. All right, we'll go back here and start on the shelter. And I got a bit of a cough, so I'm going to put something in my mouth to keep me from coughing through this video. So hopefully it's not too irritating. Okay, this next segment is all about the, the shelter. So here's Vault 51. That was the fast travel point. So as you face 51, you're going to go off to the left. And you can read this to start the quest. I've already done it because I already have shelters. Um, no plastic sugar bombs I'm also seeing what are, is around for um, blowtorch for um, scrapping so let's go inside as I said go ahead and read that poster if you've not gotten your shelter yet that way the quest starts now this location is really nice it's safe inside here and first I'll show you um, this is not inner yes it is okay interactable this is exactly what is in the atomic shop this week as part of the um, let me show you real quick game bundle so if you're actually just wanting to come and test it out here's a nice little location hopefully it'll go a little faster all right I'm gonna get out because it took forever but anyway continuing the tour weapons bench chemistry station cooking station we'll check the loot out in just a second just thinking, oh, and armor bench sleeping bag that is something else it's not actually a stash box and this is the robot you'll talk to if you want to start that shelter quest otherwise now let's walk around and see what kind of loot there is uh, looks like glass, maybe an actual Nuka-Cola might appear in that. You can sit on the couch. This rack seems to be empty. More glass. I don't know if we could even take it up. Okay, some canisters. Food. 
trash can to check out. Should be more food here. That said, spoiled. You read it again. Mmm. Gotta eat that spoiled meat. <laughs> and moldy food. And just in case you're hungry. Okay. <laughs> oh. Black water. High voltage. I'm going to go ahead and take them. That way I'll show you what they are. In case you're interested in finding some. Those should be exactly the same and respawn always the same. It's anything in a container like a trash can will be random. But otherwise these should always be here. Though they could also be randomized. But let's go ahead and check out those drinks. Under food it started with an H. I just want to see what kind of perks you got with it. Improves energy weapon damage by 15% but increases the condition cost 15% for 5 minutes. So you can actually improve the length of time for that one. So that's pretty cool. So that should always a response. So that's a good place to come and grab those. Now of course they might not be here if you're in a public world and someone has looted already. Whiskey. Turpentine has already looted the shelter. There's also this computer, some files. This has to probably do with the quest, if I remember correctly, to get the shelter. We do have a typewriter, fan, pencils. Sadly, you cannot grab this uh, giant vault boy. He's cool. Let's see. Suitcase you cannot get into. Cigarette machine you can. Let's walk around the back. Nothing there. Some water. <clears throat> Toilet paper. Alright, so that covers this, sh this little shelter area. That's next to Vault so now let's go inside Vault 51. It's actually very pretty big. You will encounter Scorch inside. I'm going to pull out my fixer. Get it going. Actually, it's broken. Let me go ahead and fix it because it gives me... Um... Nope, wrong thing. Alright, focus. Hit. Now you can do the repair. There. Because it gives me a little bit more stealth by holding it. So again, here's Vault 51. This was where that shelter was. Shelter Claim Center. I forgot the name of it. I wanted to see what the name was called. So now let's go actually inside the shelter. Um, so how do you do this? You walk up and go in. No. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. What you're going to have to do is um, look at the shelter, and you'll notice these wires. Just follow the wires, and yes, they go to the back of the semi-trailer. You're going to go in, you're going to see some people, vault dwellers. You're going to press this button. Oh, and there is uh, kickballs in here, chessboard. Mr. Handy, you can see, you can hear outside that the vault door is opening. And now you can see I can go in. So this is also be a tutorial how to get inside 51. Vault 51, we just walk in. No uh, action button needed, you just keep walking through that little walk uh, metal walkway. All right, so here is the entrance to Vault 51. Welcome home. Yeah, I've been thinking that it would be really cool if they do some sort of event or quest 
in Vault 76 to where um, you have to return home and go back inside. Circuits, toolbox, another fan. And that way you get to go back to your home, maybe help out the overseer. Because uh, basically all you're doing when using Vault 76 is just that opening scene. You never are able to go back in. Here is, can you interact with it? No. I was say a water fountain. All right, we'll go off to the left first. So this is how I came in. So you can see a little bit more of the loot. Some more of the items that should respawn. If you're looking for alcohol, there's at least four to begin with. I'll try to have a listing inside the description of how many you can find at each location. Also a hollow tape. I suppose the survival of the fittest can have some shortcuts. <laughs> you can I'm not gonna do the actual reading of the stuff or going into the computers. I'll leave that for there's a microscope for you to explore and find out what happened here. All I am doing is showing you the layout and what possible there's the scorch possible loot you can find here. All right, I've done a full circle. So there's the water fountain. There was that thing. I'm not going to go up the stairs yet, but there was a set of stairs right there. I'm going to continue this way. Just explore and see what kind of loot we can find. Lots of alcohol down here. They they must have also been partying. All right, so there's that room. We're now going off to the right. A truck. Looks like all these file cabinets in here. You can uh, take stuff out. Those will be random, but like this stuff here, the clipboards, they will always be the same. Another hollow tape. Let's see the name of it. Another computer. All right, let's see. Let's see if this opens. Need a lock. Let me go ahead and put all my locks up, lock picking skills up. Excuse me. Get the little bit of the sniffles. All three. Let's get in here. That was simple enough. <clears throat> okay. So, looks like nothing's in these large crates. They're just always empty. Toolbox, looks like it will have something in it. Ah, oh, look at the storage room. Yeah, let's see. Ah, uh, <laughs> that would have been so nice if they actually had stuff in them. All right, Vault Dweller. They seem to not have anything on them either. Let's see if I can get by him without him noticing me. I'll continue back here. <laughs> he got excited. Someone opened the door. They might go talk at the Scorch pretty soon. Have a little nice, exciting time with them. They go high. In case there are any more. Uh... Oh, he's very excited. He just ran back here. It's like he hadn't been able to run for a while. Look at him go. He's just so excited. You would think he would run out. Alright, I'm gonna have to go low. But 
and you can just sneak around like this. Ah, oh, man, look at him go. All right, we'll go to the back. Oh, look at this stuff. Christmas stuff. Maybe that's what he was all excited about. All these Christmas presents. And the Charlie Brown tree. I want to take a picture. Do you think he'll notice? Probably come running towards me while I'm trying to take the picture of the Charlie Brown tree. I'm facing the wrong way. Charlie Brown. Uh oh, I'm in the way. <laughs> he almost spotted me. Oh, there is a weapon. Looks like a combat rifle. Or is it a combat shotgun? Okay. I'll maybe come back later and get a picture of that. Otherwise, I just need to leave now. Let me come over here, check out this weapon. Combat sniper rifle. Now, of course, it might not always be that exact type or even a modded out version. All right. I'm just trying not to instigate combat while I'm doing this video. There he goes. Alright, we're just going to leave. Hopefully he won't notice me. And we'll probably just go ahead and shut the door if I can. Alright. Lots. Oh, more... Every, oh, I hear him. Must be in the uh, next room. Yeah. Should be okay here. Oh, and if you're wanting like a, uh, what is that? Nuka Cola World mug. There's one for you here. These are just regular terminals. Looks like another mug. Interesting. Oh, there's a fan. Two fans. Those are great because they always have the little screw. At least, I think it's one screw per fan. Can we get a drink at this one? No! All of the water fountains are not working. Looks like you need a card reader for that one. That one will open. Let's just walk around a little bit. Soccer ball. Random stuff. Looks like you can always check out these lockers too for more um, items. Cannot grab these uh, Vault 51 outfits though. Let me see if I have this reader already on me. Okay, nope. Check out this door. <laughs> it's a boxing ring. There are Scorch in here. Let's see if I can walk in without getting them angry at me. Dun, dun. Oop, no, they saw me. I might go to the Death Claw. Do I have it on me? Because I would prefer not to fight. I might need to take them out. Okay, let me make sure my uh, sneaks are all... Yeah. Uh oh, let me back up a little bit. Alright, I got the escape artist and the sneak. Okay, that's all I got. Alright, let me go in here. Uh-oh. Well, maybe they just won't notice, but yeah, there's, so there is the boxing ring. Um, Oh, that's a cool poster. Pick a job that's special to you. Now, um, I believe this was actually an item you could grab. I don't have it. Let's see what's in here. More doors. I'm going to go back out because this exercise bike 
I do have at my camp. Gives you a plus two to endurance. I think it also works here. Oh, crud. All right. All right, I'm just going to try to quiet for a while. Maybe not have to take out any more. All right, can you pick up these boxing gloves? <laughs> I'm listening. Must be sound effects. It's like you are boxing. And then it stopped. Now, to me, it looks like... You could probably grab those. And these, I think, give you lead. But they're heavy. So you definitely want a... Um, some sort of crafting station so that you can scrap this stuff because you don't want to carry them around at full weight. Definitely will bog you down. And as I was saying, if you do 30 seconds on this, even in here, I believe it does give you the plus two to endurance for a half hour. All right, we'll go out here now. Hopefully not get spotted. So this is like the big center area. One like there's two stories. I'm going to go back and check out this one room in here. Had a door. Oh, another reader. So this might be something you have to do after you kind of explore and find out about this place. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm not going to go in. I'm going to go and get a video of this guy. Can I go in with it? Yes. Okay. So let me get to the side. Isn't that funny how they had him set up right at the mic? So there are, oh, a bunch of instruments in here. Looks like more alcohol. I'm going to walk, ooh, and a Nuka-Cola machine. It's got a quantum in it right now. Doesn't mean it will always have a quantum, but let me go in and see what these are. All right, that's what those were. Let's see what's over here. Those were a lot of bottles. Yeah, those are empty. more bottles all right over here though yep more bottles too bad but you do have ooh, quite a bit in this machine so you definitely want to come in here if you like the nuka-cola i'm gonna go up on stage and see if i can go behind it looks like i can Got a caution. A vault dweller. Looks, looks to be about it. But it looks like they don't have anything on them. Got another scorch. I'm going to go try to go down there and see what all... If I can go around this corner. Oh, yeah. Okay. Looks like a prop room. Another vault dweller. Oh. Now, if you take any of these, they'll go in your junk. So just remember to um, put them in your stash box so you don't accidentally scrap them if you're wanting to put them out. I mean, you have to put them in some sort of display case right now. There's no actual way to just set them up. These are different from the ones that you play. These are just considered junk. All right, I'm going to leave. 
that was that. This is back to the boxing area. Let me go back through here. Pause for a little bit. There we go. Stay hidden. You go to this first door. All right, so that was the entertainment room with the microphone. I think this is just another entrance into the boxing area. Is this the one I was already in? Yes. Alright, so I was already in here. I just didn't go all the way through. So it connects to the boxing area. Oh no, I did come in here. I just didn't go this way. Alright, so that's a full circle. Let's go this way now. Let's try not to go upstairs yet until I've completed. Oh look, there's a lower. Sorry, I keep turning off the microphone if I have to cough. A weapon. Some ammo. There's over there already. Oh, like greenery area. Looks like they fought these. Maybe they fought the Scorch. Yeah, look, they put up barricades. Whatever, whoever they fought, yeah, this overwhelmed them. Looks like this is the dining and kitchen area. More bottles. Oh, no. Yep, no, these are bottles, too. Too bad. This has been a nice place to grab your um, beverage, of to beverage of choice. There is sugar. Coffee tin. Now, that's not coffee. That is just the tin. There is a pie, if you're ever looking for a pie for a score event. Looks like that might always be here. Oh, I'm not going to mess with the Wendigo yet. <laughs> I think I might have to, yeah, might have to do some fighting. Okay, an actual dining room. So we got a battered fedora. Might be the only noteworthy thing in here. Okay, this is where that Wendigo is. I'm trying not to let him see me. Actually, let me, what's this? Oh, this is their casino. Wow. Oh, here's a gnome. For you gnome seekers. More, more bottles. I'm just going to see if I can get a peek at him. Poor woman. I think it's a woman. She only had... <laughs> A little whacker to take on a Wendigo. Okay, it looks like you can use this slot machine. Definitely not going to, because, yeah. I don't want to have to fight the Wendigo. If you're looking for, uh, let's see if you can pick him up. Maybe not. You don't want to jump up there, but... Okay. Let's go over on this side. Oh. Lots of pre-war money. Oh, some caps. And more bottles. Oh, look at the menace. Now that's the one I believe you can get, is the red one. I've not ever seen the blue version. It still says red menace, but you see the little thing is blue. This is not interactive. Very similar, though, to the uh, fortune teller that you can grab and put in your camp. But I was thinking that one had a guy in it instead of a lady. Uh, 
kick pan. Oh, fire in here. See the smoke? Oh, we got a scorch. It's like the Mama Deucey stuff. Let's see what's over there. More uh, jars, coffee tins. Looks like some sort of food, maybe spices. I'm not for sure. I'm not going to go over there. Yeah, these are all bottles again. All right. Let's keep going. Let's see what else you can be looted here. All right, I don't think I went this way. So let me see. Take a peek in. Oh, it's just a connector to that uh, soccer area. So you got soccer balls. You could probably pick them up. Let me go real quick over here and see if you can. No. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. I still have upstairs and probably downstairs to figure out. I might not get downstairs because maybe that's what you need the key card for. Let's see if I've been in this room. Oh, crap. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Just turn around. Go the other... Yes. Wipe the snot off your face and turn around and go... No. Just, just turn around. You Just... You, I am not the droids you are looking for. I am not the droids you are looking for. I am not the droids you are looking for. I am not the droids you are looking for. Don't you have anything better to do? Go, 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 uh, grow crystals out of your head someplace else. Oh, is that a poster? Nuclear winter, power up. Cool. All right, I need to get going. I, I'm in the middle of a, um, a video here. Okay, go the other way. Go. Yes, go the other way. Go. Uh, I don't want to fight all you here. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, is this, is this where the wind goes at? No. Okay, I should be okay unless he follows me in. We wait for the caution to go away. Okay, here we go. Pre-war money. I'll check that pretty soon. Oh, this is like a computer area. Okay, I was not in here before. Let's see if there's anything. Uh... Oh, there is a trap. Handmade. Oh, <laughs> okay, so just be aware of that trap. Can you grab this hat? Ammo box. Cannot pick up that. Clipboard. Yeah, not a lot over here. Let's see what this leads to. All right, that's where the indigo is. All right, let's keep going. Oh man, don't you have something better, someplace better to be? All right, this is a hallway with the reader. All right, I'm gonna see if I can go upstairs. Oh, let's see what's down this. A weapon. Um, nah, I believe, yeah, this will open, but I'm going to wait. Oh, there is another level, but let's finish this one up first. And one second, I got to cough again.
Okay, I'm back. Another body. I think I want to see if I can go in that room first. This one requires... Another reader. Person in that one. So yeah, this is a pretty good place to go to explore because there are, there's lots of stuff to discover about what happened to Vault 51. Ah, darn it. Come on. Out. <laughs> I might be able to pick it with him standing there. Let me see. Thing is, you don't know if you're staying hidden or not while you're picking the lock. This appears to be a laundry room. Sugar bombs. Ooh, someone got it by the mop. Oh, that's that. Oh, that's a that's. Oh, wow. That's that's a hard way to go. Look, they were using the little giddy up. Looks like that was their weapon. Yeah. So water. Wow. Some more metal. Looks like you cannot see what's in the stuff, so there's nothing to actually get out of it. All right. This was the locked one? Yeah. Let me go... No, I'll do the locked one first. see the scorch there you go good job guys keep them busy all right what's this broken camera so let's go in, it looks like a sleeping area. I hear more ghouls, I believe. Now it looks like you can use the beds in here if you need to. I would definitely shut the doors though. I still hear, I think I still hear a one ghoul. Alright, this is a bathroom area. You can open these up. Are they fighting a ghoul? <laughs> oh, you got him. Alright, let me hide. <clears throat> it's weird. My uh, controller is vibrating like I'm the one getting attacked. Oh, he's not down. Oh, it's the hard way to go. Oh, he tried to get up. There he goes. That's why my controller was vibrating. He still was fighting the ghoul. Okay, you can check these. These will have some medicine for you. Alarm clocks. Oh, they're still attacking the ghouls. Please Looks like refrain from touching anything. Your interference can only compromise testing. All right. 
was a door here. Another door. Another door. Yep. Cool. I'm going to try to be quiet. See if he'll leave. Maybe go check out what the Scorch are doing. Yep. Might just... Oh, he opened the door and left himself. All right, let's see what's in here. So a little bit of ammunition. We'll go that way later. Let's see what's in this door. All right, it basically just connects to these rooms. Looks like they're all connected. Yeah, all right, let me go with the way that that ghoul did and see where it goes. Might be a door down there, too, I need to go through. Oh, there it is. All right. So I think we pick up, yeah, so there's lots of pillows in this room for scrapping. Looks to be about it. Alright, I thought there was a room I missed. Alright, let me get my bearings again. No. Went in there. Okay, I hear people walking around. Well, that one, I think, was a card reader. So this will be someplace you'll have to explore when you have your own card. If you can find it. Let's go in on this side now. Scorch up there. <clears throat> Alright, scorch in here. Two scorches in here. Can I go in this room? Yep, so I think this overlooks the little soccer field. It does. Looks like might be able to get some Nuka Colas out of this if you're needing them. This goes down, and this might be. Is this the room I started in? Is there a microscope over? Yes. So that's where... So I came in through that door and said I would not go up this yet, and that's where that came from. All right, let's keep going. Looks to be it on this level area. <clears throat> and go back in. Couple more doors. They're over there. See if I can get in this room before they come back over. Oh, it's like a master bedroom. Fancy. Typewriter, some glue. One of the chess pieces of the iBot. That could be random. No, it should not be random. It should always be the iBot. But you're fine. I'm not sure who's talking to you. This is one I still I don't think I've come and completed. Because as you see, I don't even have the um, key card that's needed. Soap. No. Could you grab the soap? Looks like no. Another hollow tape. I can get in here before I get spotted. Oh, a ghoul. Let me have him come out. Hmm. 
Mm, tough little booger, isn't he? Make sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, here comes some reinforcements. Yeah, he's tough. What is he? All right, let's look around the room. Typewriter. Ah, all right. So now we have the key card. I went ahead and grabbed it. <clears throat> that way we can keep exploring. There is a safe in here. I won't open it because it's uh, it always be random. But there is another. Um, let's see if I can get it to highlight. There it is. Another hollow tape. All right, so again, this is where I got the key card, and hopefully that is for everything. I would suggest bringing in a um, some type of melee weapon. The Deathclaw Gauntlet is good because uh, for the most part, unless they're noticing you attacking, they can't hear it, so you can stay hidden after you're finished attacking. So again, this was the room I went into. Um, the middle one of the center area. Can I get into this? Oh, there's a clown toy in there. And let's continue. Oh, bear rug. <laughs> Alright, so this was the side that was not locked by uh, where you didn't have to pick the lock. So I'm going to go now over here and uh, open that first door that needed the key card and see what's going on. Oh, it shuts up. It does not stay open. So you can see the stage from here. So technically, if you had a jetpack, you could jump up here. I'll have to test it to see if you can get up here with marsupial. But yeah, now that we know where the little key... Oh, another hollow tape. But the key card is very, very easy to find. Alright, so this is the one off of the um, second one off of the boxing ring. So now I'm going to go through the first one off of the boxing ring. Let's see where it goes. Did he say shot or shocked? Yeah, there's something underneath the... Let's see, what does it say? Water... Step. No, watch step. So it looks like this is like a safe room, but I don't know if this area is that safe. Not sure. Looks like they were filming. Let's see what's over here. Looks like the locker room. <clears throat> Alright, so that's the key card room off of this office area with all the computers. I should have counted how many there were. So that's been what? One upstairs. Came out one downstairs, that's two, entered another one, three, four, so we had like four or five. All right, back to the boxing ring. All right, that's the stage.
can I do this one? I don't know if I've been through it. Let me see. Oh. It's a different one. So you can't go in that one with this particular key card. All right. So here, it, that's the eating area. So we've already been through there. Again, I'm going to do some reference points. Here is that center desk area. Soccer ball field. I'm going to go back upstairs and go up to the next levels. I don't think there was anything else that needed a key card here. All right, I think there is a Scorch upstairs. Yeah, he's down there. Okay, you can't use the key card here. Um, there is another Nuka-Cola machine down there and another body, but the bodies haven't had, oh, maybe a safe, but the bodies have not had anything on them. All right. Now, you could probably uh, go through the computers and then we start reading and... Oh, there's an area right there. I'm going to see if I can get to it. Yes, this is with marsupial. I was able just to jump up here with the marsupial. Didn't have to use my jetpack. Let's see if there's anything up here to find. There was a body. Maybe I should search the body. Actually, I've been ignoring the bodies because most of them had had nothing on them. Oh, oh, there is a combat, another combat sniper rifle. Alright, can I get any into any of these rooms from here? Uh, what's up there? Looks like wires. Oh. Uh. Yep, this looks like it was just a safe place to get to. I don't see anything here. Or a way to get into anything. We just jump up here. Just jumping to see if there's anything on top of this. Nope. Alright. I'm oh, I haven't gone over there. I don't think. The second staircase. Let's go up it, see if there's anything up. Yep, looks like another level. A door to another staircase. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see if they'll let me through with this. Ah, nope. And I have not found the other key card. I'm just going to explore a little bit more. I was already out here, but let me go kind of around here. I hear the birds. See if there's anything hidden. Splendid. Each violent exchange expands my understanding of human behavior. I'm thinking whoever's talking to me sounds like maybe some type of AI or robot. Uh, I didn't really see anything in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have completely explored this place. So maybe there are clues in the computers. I have not found a way to get downstairs yet. But let me see if there was any rooms I did not use the key card on. I think I tried this one. No, this is the one that first one that did not work. All right. Oh, if you saw anything I did not try, you always throw in the comments. But basically, this is just a uh, walk around of the location so you can see what there is. Have I been through this one? Maybe. I think so. And you can listen to the holotapes. They might give you more clues. 
again I'm, the purpose is not to go through all the quests here it's just to show you what this place looks like I'm going to go ahead and end it here and go back outside so if you have any questions about vault 51 the shelter or the two camp locations I talked about and showed you let them in the comments or if you even want me to test out something I'd love to help people out with testing out camps see if certain things can be built like will the woodland the retreat fit in that spot or not so yeah I will end the video here so hopefully it helped you out it's an awesome place to come explore like I said uh, you could start the really short quest and get in your shelter I would do that first you get the little tiny what is it called um, Ah, oh, just it's not the lobby, or is it the vault? It's the smallest shelter that you can get, but it's also free. So it gives someone throw in the name for me. I just totally went name blank on it. Thanks. So yep, yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Again, this is Vault 51 location, along with how to get started on grabbing your free shelter. All right, check you guys later. Happy gaming, happy exploring. Look for future map locations. Check you guys later.